Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to find the last number in a column that is not a zero. You want to find the last number greater than zero in a column and we'll show you a practical application for this, uh, this process. So let's take a look at how to do that in Excel. So let's say we have the data here of an account. We have the date that transactions were entered, the debit, the credit, and their current balance. And somewhere either on another sheet or in some summary, I want to know what the balance of this account is, what their last purchase amount was, and what their last payment amount is. And you can see in columns B and C the debit and credit amounts. I've pre-entered zeros. I may want to do that so when I enter either a debit or a credit, the other column will be a zero and then it'll give me my balance. So if I just looked for the last number in column B or column C, I'll get zero because that's the last number down in row 40. The balance has a formula that's just an if statement that if there's no entry in B or C, it's going to present a blank. So doing the last a number in column D will be simply whatever that number is because there's no zeros in the rest but again for B and C that's going to be a little different situation here's what we're going to do let's take a look for balance if I look at the formula for balance I'm just going to use the lookup formula equals lookup and the lookup value if you want to find the last number in a column all you have to do is enter a larger number than will ever be in that column that Excel will never be able to find and it will then present to you the last number in that column. So let's say for example I put uh, 10 million as the lookup value and my lookup vector is going to be column D I close that parentheses hit enter notice it gives me 295 because that's the last number that it finds because it's never going to find 10 million in that column unless you have accounts that might have um, balances that exceed that. Now here I have in F8 what's called the big number in Excel and the reason this is called the big number is this is the largest number that can ever be entered in Excel. So you can always substitute for what I have 10 million this number because that number will probably never ever be found in Excel and then it will always return the last number for you. But for last purchase and last payment if I use the exact same formula here and instead I substitute in, uh, for column D I substituted for last purchase column B, I'm going to get a zero because down in cell B40 is zero. So that's not going to work. So what we're going to have to do is add to this an if formula and enter it as an array formula, which means instead of hitting enter, I need to use control shift enter. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our formula and for the lookup vector, we're going to put an if statement, and the if statement is b colon b is not equal to zero, then b colon b. And then I'll go over, close the second parentheses, and again, I can't just hit enter. If I just hit enter, I'm going to get zero, but instead, if I hit control shift enter it's going to give me twenty dollars and if I look the last entry in column B is twenty dollars because what I said is look for anything in column B that does not equal zero but because it has to go through that entire array it needs to be entered as an array formula using control shift enter and notice when I did that it put curly brackets around that so I can do the same thing for last payment for column C, what I'll just do is I'll copy this, go down here, and instead replace uh, B colon B with C colon C. And again, go to the end, hit Control Shift Enter, and it's going to give me $10, which is the last credit or last payment made, this case in cell C19. 
So that's how you can find the last value in a column that is greater than zero. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.